Hey everyone, welcome back. Tonight I have a really exciting video. I'm converting these wheels to seal bearings. But what's exciting is that Treats now makes a 29 millimeter bearing. Before these, you couldn't find a 29 millimeter bearing. So to convert a Pook 5 Star, a uh, Pook spoke front wheel, or I think Hobbit front wheels, you had to use a 28 millimeter bearing and a little shim, a half millimeter shim around it, so it's kind of sketchy. But now, with these 29 millimeter bearings, it makes swapping over super easy. If you guys like these videos, please hit that subscribe button. It helps my channel grow and it lets me know that you're watching them and liking them. First thing to do is remove the front wheel. I haven't set the brake cable up yet, so all we have to do is take off the axle nuts. That is a 19 millimeter on this. Do both sides. This front end has a little safety notch, so you have to take the nuts either all the way off or almost all the way. To make this job easier, I'm gonna take the hub out. Last bolt. All right, there's the hub. Now I'll remove this nut. Okay, take this off. Take off the brake plate. Okay. The inside is 15 millimeters, so you'll need a spanner wrench. Put that on there, and the outside is a 19. So loosen the outside, and then you can take it off. Now we need to remove the inner cone. Now you have to be careful taking this off because there are little bearings in there. So inside you can see the bearings. I use a magnet to take the ball bearings out. Okay, make sure, make sure that you have all of them from one side. Flip it over and take the other ones. It's good to save the loose ball bearings because you might need them on a different moped later. An easy way to clean the balls is to put them in a rag and then spray them with a little bit of brake cleaner. And then roll them around in your hand. This will transfer all of the grease from the ball bearings to the towel. There you go. Now they're clean and shiny. You could reuse these on the same wheel if you were repacking it or you could save them for a different wheel if you might need them later. After I take my axle out, I like to put the nuts and cones back on so that way later if I need to reuse this axle, I have all the hardware with it. Okay, we have these little dust covers that we need to pop out. Just use the screwdriver. Do that on both sides. There we go. Now we need to pop out the cones. You can use an axle or really anything that fits through. Flip it over. The second side is easier because you can use something a little bit bigger. These are the inner cones that hold the bearings. You can save them. These look like they're in good condition, so I'll save them. Now, before we go buy bearings, we have to measure this. Let's see. All right, these ones are 29 millimeters. Once you know the size of your hub, you can go buy bearings. In this case, it's 29. Uh, 29, they don't make those, so you have to use a 28 in a shim. But, they just started making 29 millimeter bearings. Thank you, treats. So now we just press them in. Use whatever metal you have to make a stack to make it a little bit closer. I'm using a tube, another hub, and then this is the hub we're pressing a bearing in. And then I'm gonna use a socket that fits the outer race. So I'm gonna put that right on the bearing. And I'll slowly press it down. And you can feel when it bottoms out. Okay. There we go. That one's pressed in. Now we just have to make a spacer and do the other side. You can go to a metal supply store and buy really nice tubing with 12 millimeter inner. Or, or you can go to your hardware store and buy a plumbing pipe. This is just black pipe. It, it'll cost a little bit more in the long run because you're buying just one piece. The whole tube for me costs like five bucks, whereas this was like a dollar and I can only do one wheel, whereas the tube, it was five bucks for six feet and I can do lots of wheels. Cut off one end so it's flush. If you don't have a pipe cutter, you really need one. I use this tool all the time when working on mopeds or dirt bikes. Cutting off handlebars, making spacers. 
All right, there we have a nice end. I use this little reamer to clean it up. Check it with your axle, perfect. Okay, so we have our tube, it's squared off. Now we need to measure how long it needs to be. This end, we want to rest on this part of the bearing, the inner race. And we want this part to rest right on the back where the bearing is going to sit. Once you have the right depth, you can lock this piece. So this is how long our spacer needs to be. Now with the caliper, you can make a little mark. And now we need to cut this with a pipe cutter. Line it up and cut it. All right. Sits flush with the bottom, we're good to go. Now we just need to press the other bearing in. Again, you don't have to use a press for this. You could stack washers and sockets on an axle and pull it in, or you could use a hammer and a socket, whatever you have available. Okay, just until it's snug. You can check it with the axle. Perfect. That's really all it takes to do sealed bearings, but now we do have to make a spacer between the brake plate and the hub bearing. Easiest way that I do is just stack washers until it fits. I think I got it. All right, so two is not enough. Three is perfect. Easiest way to make this spacer is to measure the three washers, mark your spacer tube, and then cut it. Now we have our spacer. Slide your spacer on, your brake plate, good to go. Now let's put it in the wheel. Take your wheel, slide it over, and put the bolts back in. When you do tighten these down, do it in a cross pattern. Now I need to make spacers to space the wheel. The easiest way in my opinion is to use washers to stack it up and then measure the washers and make a spacer that, that, that is that size. I typically do the brake side first because that's typically a smaller spacer. So pull it to this side and that is not quite spaced center. Take out a couple washers, pick it up again. That's pretty good. I might try one less washer. This is just a trial and error process until you get it to where you like it. I'd say that's actually really good. Okay. So now I'm gonna take these washers out and I'm gonna measure them and I'm gonna mark it on this tube again and make a spacer to fit that. Okay. Mark it on this tube and go cut it. I'm back from the spacer shop, got this little spacer. I'm gonna put it in and then I just need to do the other side. This is the same process. Stack some washers on and see if it fits. We don't have to worry about it being centered because we already have it centered on the right side. All right, so we need more washers. Okay. All right, that's too many. We'll take one off. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so now I need to measure this and make a spacer this size. Measure this stack of washers. Tighten it down. Mark the tube. Okay, and then cut it. Now we just have to assemble the spacers in the right order and install it. Okay, then 19. Let's test it out. And that's all it takes to convert to sealed bearings. If you like this video, please subscribe and comment. Thank you guys.